Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In today's session, I am going to talk about how to detect object in an image. Now this you can do without writing much code by using Microsoft Azure's custom vision service. Now what is this? Let's uh, dive deep into it. Now what is object detection? Object detection is a form of a machine learning algorithm where it detects individual object in an image. So for example you can see here individual object in the image are labeled along with the probabilistic score plus you can see a bounding box associated with each object. Now if you want to do such a thing in your application if you want to do an object deduction in your application you need not do much of coding only thing you have to do is you have to create a subscription in custom vision resource in Microsoft Azure once that is done you can use custom vision pro portal to train your own model after you train your model you can publish the model as a rest API or as a web service once it is published now any client program can consume this web service or rest api and can make predictions now i'm going to explain to you this process of creating and training the model let's go into the exercise so this is the uh, third model of a 900 exam so here you can see the exercise just you have to click the launch lab a virtual lab will be launched so let the lab uh, be launched before that we will go to uh, Azure portal and then here we have to create a custom vision resource so in my previous video I have already told you how to create a custom vision resource so when you create a custom vision resource there will be two resources created one resource will be used for training and another resource will be used for prediction so here you can see the resource name is same one will be used for training and one will be used for prediction so this is what is required uh, to train a model now if you want to train your model you have to go to custom vision portal this is your custom vision portal and create a new project so when you create a project you have to enter a name for the project so let me give uh, object uh, identification okay and then you can give any description for the project and then you have to select the resource okay so this is a resource for training so now we have to sub uh, select the project type the project type is object detection and the domain we can give is the general and then click on create project so once the project is created you have to upload all the images that is used for training and you have to tag the images so just click on add images here and here is the images I've already downloaded the link to download these images I will give it in the description box and it is also there in the Microsoft learning portal so once all the images are ready just control a uh, select all the images and then click open now all the 33 images will be uploaded so now you can see all the images are uploaded successfully so click on done now we have to tag each image just click on one image and just click on the image the bounding box will be detected once the bounding box is detected you can add the tag for the images so this is orange I'll click on add I'll click on this one and write apple okay here orange move to the next image once the first one is completed this is the second one again repeat the same process and add the tags so you have to do all these things the same thing you have to repeat for all the 33 images once this is done then you can train your model now all the images has been tagged the next step we have to do is we have to select train select quick training the training process will start
yeah the training is uh, completed successfully you can see the results of the training so once the training results are done now what you can do is you can publish this service okay click on publish you have to give a name for the model so let the name of the model be uh, object okay obj and you have to select the prediction resource the resource that you're going to select is uh, the custom vision resource that you have created for prediction so in the beginning i already told you when you create custom vision resource there will be two resources one for training another one for prediction so here you have to select for prediction and then click on publish so once you click that immediately your model will be published so you uh, train the model and your model is now published as a web service now your client program can consume this web service so if you want to know the detail of your published model just click on the uh, settings here you can see the details of your project so here you can see your project id this is important and the model name that you have given obj is your model name so that is important and the endpoint and then you also need the key for the prediction resource so now we will go to the uh, we will go to the uh, virtual lab that we have done so this is a virtual lab so here you can see uh, just click on uh, get files to update the github files in the virtual lab so once this is done you can open the virtual studio code so here you can see the client program for object detection module So when you drag down, you will see the code to paste your project ID. So here you have to copy your project ID. Here you have to copy the key. The key should be from the Microsoft Azure. You have custom vision prediction resource. So the key should be copied here and the endpoint is here and the model name is here. So once this is done, you can click on run to run this block. So you can see once uh, this block is executed, you can see ready to predict uh, predict uh, this model. The next thing is you have to execute the next block. Okay, you have some uh, testing images available in the uh, data folder. Now those images will be labeled. So here you can see the output. So this is a test image. In the test image, you can see the objects are detected with the bounding boxes and for each object, you also have a score attached with that. Now the um, testing data is available here. Inside the data folder, you have object detection folder. Here you have the image. So if you want, you can uh, test with another image also. You have some uh, sample images are available here. You can also change the sample images and test your application. So with this object deduction is completed, in the next video we will see how to deduct face in an image.